When Darwin said fittest, he didn't necessarily mean the strongest or the most intelligent or any one trait. He merely meant those organisms most well suited to their environments. Evolution, Morpheus. Evolution. These guys have taken a completely different evolutionary path. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. Its structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. Yeah, but he has to be the better man. We already are. We're the next stage of human evolution. You said it yourself. No, no. Where do I find the more evolved people? Put that man down or we will open fire! The fact that you possess a sense of morality and we do not gives us an evolutionary advantage. And if history has proven anything, It is that evolution always wins. We don't know how plants attain these abilities. They, they just evolve very rapidly. What the hell is that thing? Napalm forced an evolutionary response, just like the match in the Petri dish. That's evolution? Survival of the fittest. Captain, although your abilities intrigue me, you are quite honestly inferior, mentally, physically. In fact, I am surprised how little improvement there has been in human evolution. I am better. At what? Everything. From what I've seen, these things have adapted to the ship instead. So you're saying that they're passengers who have mutated? See, going it alone, that ain't an option nowadays. Still, it is survival of the fittest. That's a paradox right there. So I laid out some rules of the road to keep things from going Darwin every couple hours. They're human beings. Who are you to question 800,000 years? Of evolution. Tell us what we're fighting. Well, they're totally blind. And judging from what we've seen, I'd say they use sound to hunt with, like a bat. And they've evolved perfectly to live down here in the dark. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. It's really a miracle of evolution. All this machine does is swim and eat and make little sharks. I'm a natural progression of the species. Evolution is a part of nature, and nature kills simple. Take the example of the arachnids, a highly evolved insect society. It is a matter of science. Evolution, isn't it, gentlemen? This other man has not the size, or the endurance, or the genetics to win. Don't be trapped by old concepts. Matthew, you're evolving into a new life form. Sometimes an insect will evolve to mimic its predator. A fly can look like a spider. A caterpillar can look like a snake. The Judas evolved to mimic its predator. Us. The thing you've got to understand is this is a perfectly evolved world conquering organism evolution and like a natural selection and how like there's this thing right it is called the apex predator right and basically what this is is the strongest animal in the ecosystem right everything has evolved to kill humans you adapted it changed it you became magnificent i became a freak no you're not mutation your evolution. That the ape evolved from a lower order of primate, possibly man. <laughs> he got this slit here, like, <laughs> like fish skills. He wasn't really a man. <laughs> evolution. Species wide distribution could, could enhance humanity on an evolutionary scale. 
One has to adapt to survive. 40,000 years of evolution and we barely even tapped the vastness of human potential. First of all, I'm not a lifeguard. Never was. Secondly, that is what natural selection is all about.